we have mineral water, which has magnesium. I couldn't tell from the question, but I think they want you to assume that all the magnesium is Mg2+. I mean, the magnesium is aqueous in the solution, and uh, this would be solid magnesium. So it's aqueous in solution. So all the magnesium in the solution we're assuming is this. And then they do a, a fancy experiment to precipitate it out, and you get this much mass and I think, is this the mass of the whole sample? Uh, let's see, this is, uh, yeah, so that funny looking magnesium structure there weighs that much. And we want to know how much magnesium is in the sample in very specific units called parts per million. Parts per million means there's one gram of what you're interested in, this is the magnesium, for every million grams of the whole solution. So that's what parts per million. If it's parts per billion, uh, it'd be one gram for every billion grams. So this is a common unit for environmental purposes, typically. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna do the PPM stuff last. First, let's figure out how much magnesium we have. Uh, we already know how much water we have. So, uh, there is 5.50 times 10 to the minus 2 grams of that whole mess, Mg2P2O7. And then uh, let's change this to moles. So I guess I will let you figure out the molar mass from the periodic table. Is that part okay? Yeah. So this is moles of this whole mess. And here's the reason I'm doing this. There's uh, one mole of the ugly looking structure, but there's two moles of magnesium in that structure. Is that okay? Because it's Mg2, b 207 So I'm gonna multi end up multiplying by two, and then let's find the mass of that magnesium just by using the molar mass. Oh. Uh, yeah, I put that right. And so you go, wait, was it manganese or magnesium? Uh, Mg, yeah, okay. So magnesium is 23.4.31. Okay, and this I'll just put grams of magnesium. What we're going to do now that we know that, so I'll let you calculate all that stuff. We're going to go, we're going to take the mass of uh, magnesium and we're going to divide by the mass of water, 111.125, which is given in the question, 111.125 grams of the water, which includes the magnesium and the water itself. Okay? Is that fair enough? Yeah. Okay, now that's what they want for the answer. They just want it in the particular units. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide through by this number from whatever the original number is up here. And uh, I'm going to do something kind of funky, which you'll learn more about in Chem2B. But to get to the PPM um, units, you're going to divide and multiply by a million grams. Okay, you're going to divide and multiply by a million grams. What's going to happen when you do that? So I'm multiplying by one, so it doesn't change my answer numerically or mathematically. But uh, now, uh, this million grams right there, I'm not going to use that number. So that number is just going to transfer over here, 10 to the 6th grams. This grams and this grams are going to cancel out. So on the top I'll just have grams of magnesium. On the bottom will be the grams of the water. I'm not going to multiply in that denominator 10 to the 6th. And so I'm going to get a number right here. Okay, I'm not using this number down here in the 10 to the 6th. So now this unit right here is PPM. That's PPMs. Grams over a million grams. But I told you before, 
grams over a million grams is BPM. 